morning. All right, back to our forecast now. Danny, it's a miserable day out there, <laughs> and it's about to get worse. <laughs> that about sums it up, yeah. Todd. I couldn't have said it better myself. That widespread heavy rain really settling in now. This is a live look from Live Drive on the 215. Traffic building up with ponding on the roadways. Plenty of raindrops on the windshields. Take it slow if you have anywhere to be. And if you can, maybe push those errands back a day or so. Tomorrow will be completely dry, but through the remainder of this evening, this is what we have to work with. Desert Doppler showing widespread rain across the valley. We'll zoom in here to the uh, Northwest Valley where the rain intensity is starting to settle down. But you see the rain itself isn't wrapping up. The heaviest rain now shifting into North Las Vegas. It looks like Aliante and Craig Ranch still picking up some moderately heavy rain. Now on the east side today, things have been mostly calm, but uh, not the case anymore. That rain is starting to slide east of the 15. You see Lake Las Vegas down through Henderson up through Nellis, all seeing that moderately heavy rain. This is going to continue tracking north and east up the 15, eventually heading to Moapa Valley and Mesquite. Now south of the valley, this is where we've seen uh, quite a bit of action over the past 30 minutes or so. Really heavy rain pushing into the area of South Point, really up and down the 15 corridor and now shifting further east. And now we get to see uh, how much more is coming. We still see that deep moisture pushing in from the south and west. That's spreading that uh, heavy rain from Good Springs up through Blue Diamond. Sandy Valley seeing some heavy rain right now and of course into the Spring Mountains. So we're not quite done with it yet. Everything you see here is what's eventually shifting into uh, the rest of Clark County. So these steady showers are expected to continue for the next few hours at least. And this rain would be messy enough uh, on its own, but unfortunately it's accompanied by gust speeds anywhere from 30 to almost 50 miles per hour. We're seeing close to 50 mile per hour gusts as expected in Henderson right now, which adds a whole whole host of travel problems on top of the uh, slick roadways. It's not just the Las Vegas Valley. This is the case across the region. You see gusts close to 50 miles per hour right now for Indian Springs as well. Want to kind of paint the uh, picture here with the our uh, with our watches and warnings and advisory map. There's so much going on here. The green flash flood watch for Mojave County, high wind warning for the Colorado River Valley and Southern Clark County. Wind advisory here in the Las Vegas Valley and of course the winter storm warning for the mountains in the Las Vegas Valley. This advisory until 4 a.m. tomorrow with gusts to 55 miles per hour. We've already seen it, so right on target. Colorado River Valley gusts could be up to 60 miles per hour through first thing tomorrow morning and in the mountains gusts to 60 are really contributing to the travel problems as well as the heavier snow. We're in the thick of it right now. This is the main event and we have a couple more hours where we could see that widespread consistent rain, but at once the sun sets, the widespread rain becomes a little more widely scattered. We're not done with the rain chances yet, but it becomes a little more hit or miss. Once we get toward 9, 10 o'clock tonight, that's when we'll call it isolated. But keep in mind, we're seeing that and feeling that colder air filter in, so the snow levels will drop. Some of the communities on the edge of town, slightly higher elevations, could see a few snowflakes mix in. It, it takes us until overnight into tomorrow morning for that cloud cover to completely clear. Our rainfall totals are expected to be pretty impressive, over a tenth of an inch, up to three tenths of an inch, and snow in the mountains even more impressive to go along with those 60 mile per hour gusts. Our peaks will pick up close to a foot and we'll see four to six inches above 5,000 feet. We're already seeing two or three so far today. Temperatures behind this front drop. So although tomorrow is sunny, it is going to be cold. Our lows fall to the 30s with highs close to 50 for the rest of the week.